some of my best clients are still putting in the same amount of marketing work that they were before they hired me, which I find fascinating because you can't just hire, right? You can't just hire someone to help you with your marketing and then step away and then have it take care of itself and still be successful because there still needs to be you, Nick Nielsen, so-and-so, whomever behind the scenes generating the message that then needs to get curated and packaged and, and, and developed and sent out into the world. But there's still that raw at the end of the day that needs to be created. And for you and a, and a handful of others that I'm working with, I think about how much, how many hours you guys probably put in a week into your marketing on your own, even though you're still paying for a service to help you with it. It's almost like it's, it's the steroids on top of working out really. And this is what I would tell all financial advisors, and I think it's a huge problem, is it's okay to hire marketing help, just like I've hired you. It's, it's an investment. It's the best money I've ever spent as it relates to our business. But you can never outsource your voice. You can't outsource the message because no matter how brilliant you are, Corey, no. if you don't know what the message is, there's going to be a disconnect. Right. Because what you want to get is to work with somebody creatively who understands the message, who understands the vision, who understands the type of people that you want to work with and how you help them. So there is the complete synchronization of that message to the end client. Because if that message does not sync up and then they meet you and there's a disconnect, they're never going to become a client. Or if they do become a client, they're going to be quickly disenfranchised because there's a disconnect between what they thought they were going to get versus what they actually got, which is why I cannot understand for the life of me, how somebody who is serious about growing their financial planning practice is not willing to sit down for 10 to 15 minutes and write a brief newsletter in their own words. This blows my mind about how many people are willing to send out some sort of prepackaged market commentary, or they're willing to buy somebody else's newsletter and send it out as their own. I think it leads to a huge disconnect. 